This lion underestimated hyenas. She's obviously beaten them more than once before. But this time the lioness came too close to the den with cubs. That's why the whole pack came down on her. Hyenas surrounded the lioness and let her know that she had made a mistake in choosing enemies. We will show you other cases when animals make a similar mistake and pay for it. The bear is a powerful predator, and a couple of these animals are a small army that cannot be stopped. That's why they themselves thought when they broke into the territory of this house. The animals were wrong. A small projectile charged with pure rage burst out to meet them. The French Bulldog is 10 times lighter and smaller than bears, but its pressure causes a real shock to wild animals. Although the bear easily stopped the Bulldog with its paws, the dog was not afraid and continued the attack. It was able to get a good grip on the bears, and they decided that it was better to get out quickly rather than to fight with this little berserk. Most of all, the maneuverability of the short-legged dog is surprising, which not only ran between the paws of the bears, but also did not forget to apply short, painful bites. It's great to have such a defender. Why do you think the predators retreated? Perhaps they decided that the bulldog is rabid? Or were they really scared by the reaction of the dog, which turned out to be much more violent than the wild predators expected? Share your opinion in the comments. Elephants usually behave with restraint and nobility. They roam the savanna in search of food and avoid unnecessary violence. The rhinoceros is another matter. They are extremely easy to provoke into a fight, especially if we are talking about a female with a cub. Then the rhinoceros turns into a frenzied tangle of irritability, which is ready to rush at any animal for no reason at all. But attacking this elephant turned out to be a huge mistake. From a calm, phlegmatic man, this giant has turned into a fierce fighter who will easily sweep away anyone. The rhinoceros weighs about four tons, but the elephant is so strong that it easily throws off its opponent, knocks them to the ground, makes them trample on their own cub, and then almost drowns them. When they start telling you in self-defense courses that size is not the main thing, then show them this video. Pure power matters. Just ask the elephant. The Impala has no chance against a lioness. If she even hooks the gazelle with her claws, it will immediately fill it up. But the ungulate does not even give the predator a chance to do this. The gazelle takes off, and it seems that she will not have time to escape from the predator that has gained acceleration. But the Impala makes its most famous maneuver with lightning speed. It changes the direction of running at full speed and dodges the enemy. The gazelle's astute accuracy is worthy of a like, don't you think? Macaques are used to the fact that running up a tree is a universal way to avoid any problem. Is the hyena attacking? It doesn't matter. A couple of jumps and the spotted predator won't do anything to the primate in the crown. Can tigers climb trees? The macaque could only laugh. Heavyweights like lions or tigers do not have access to thin branches. I even feel sorry for the striped cat, which fell to the ground and was left without its lunch. But neglecting the leopard turned out to be a big mistake the last mistake in the life of this primate, who decided that running to the very top of the tree would save him. The leopard was so agile that he was able to run into the thinnest branches. And when the monkey tried to dodge his throw and jump to another branch, the cat did an acrobatic trick right in the air and grabbed its prey. At the same time, the predator turned out to be so strong that when he fell from the height of the third floor to the ground, it not only did not hurt him in any way, but he did not even let the prey out of his mouth. Even birds can't feel safe in nests at the top of trees. Birds build dens where the branches are too thin even for some snakes. But that will not stop the leopard. The cat is so agile that it seems as if she controls her weight, well, her gravity. 
the leopard should not be underestimated. An important life lesson for any bully. If you want to run over someone, even if the victim seems defenseless, think about it. Who were her friends? Maybe this chicken itself is not capable of giving the falcon a decent rebuff. But she's doing great with the ability to make friends. When the bird of prey attacks its victim, literally the whole farm rushes to help the chicken. Another chicken, without fear, rushed to attack the falcon, and then they were joined by a goat, a real heavyweight relative to a fairly small bird of prey. Altogether, they practically trampled the impudent falcon, who made a mistake with the choice of prey as never before. Such cohesion deserves respect, doesn't it? This is probably the most epic confrontation between two equal rivals that we have seen in recent times. The tiger decided to attack the bear. This idea will seem doubtful to you, but the tiger can't afford it. The world's largest panther has a pretty good chance of success. First of all, it is the experience of confrontation with those who are in the same weight category with him. Tigers bring down giant bulls and fight fiercely amongst themselves. So the desire to have lunch with a bear is not so strange. It's just that the tiger underestimated the will to live and stubbornness of a club-footed predator. The bear not only fought back, but began to fight back so fiercely that with every second of the duel, the tiger's chances only became less. At the same time, it must be recognized that the tiger correctly assessed its capabilities. He really had all the trump cards. Both of these animals are heavyweights, but the striped cat is still bigger. Both have effective combat tactics and fight mainly with their paws. And they use their fangs when they can pull the vulnerable part of the victim closer with their claws, for example, the muzzle. But the tiger is still cooler in this case. Both rivals have monstrous strength, but the tiger is stronger. However, for all its advantages, it struggles for lunch. And the bear is for life. Therefore, contrary to all calculations, it is the bear that comes out the winner. Yes, the tiger is alive and relatively intact, but the bear was able to defend himself and as a result of a long and intense fight, force the aggressor to retreat. If the lizard is in danger, it can throw back its tail and hide. But the raccoon is aware of this technique. He does not pay attention to the twitching tail of the reptile and grabs it. The lizard clearly underestimated the raccoon's ability to learn. The power of this charismatic animal with a cute mask on his eyes should not be underestimated either. This mistake was made by a wild cat. He thought that a well-fed baby with a fluffy tail would become a simple and satisfying prey. And it is not like that. The raccoon got angry and went into a brazen frontal attack himself. The cat has a hard time. He constantly wags, tries to get away from capture, and retreats. The raccoon is absolutely not afraid of the cat's counterattacks and continues to stubbornly go into battle, even if he is threatened with dangerous blows with claws. But the predator does not want to get into the jaws of a raccoon at all. But the most amazing thing is that when the wild cat has already turned to flight, the raccoon himself began to chase her. It's like saying, hey you, come here and do it again. Lads, where are you going? The case when the big guy ran into a not so big, but rapid fighter. The squirrel is a cute vegetarian rodent. A fluffy tail, red fur, a small muzzle with beautiful eyes, and the ability to take nuts with their front paws make them one of the most charming inhabitants of both city parks and wild forests. Well, squirrels have another advantage. If modern fashion psychologists are right about accepting the dark side, whatever that means, then squirrels are a model of success in this manner. After all, the charming, sweet, and kind squirrel has another side. This is a crazy berserk warrior who attacks everything he doesn't like, 
You surprised? It's true. A squirrel may be the first to attack to poison a snake. And this, despite the fact that the reptile did not even try to bite the rodent. It's just that the squirrel doesn't like such company. But the snake is several times longer, and a single bite will be enough to stop the rodent's heart. Do you think this causes our furry hero any doubts? No, of course not. She simply tramples the snake into the ground with her furious pressure and speed. If a squirrel can cope with a nutshell with its teeth, then it will cope with a reptile skull all the more. The snake is just in shock. She clearly did not expect that she would face such a strong opponent in the face of this seemingly harmless squirrel. Fluffy can even pile on a cobra. At the same time, in battle, he also uses his front paws with which he can firmly grasp the target. The squirrel acts incredibly actively and moves from evasion to counterattack almost at lightning speed. It is difficult for the eye to keep track of the speed of movement of this fluffy fighter. A real feat for an animal that can fit into the palm of your hand. At the same time, the squirrel not only avoids the snake's attacks, but attacks itself. It's not running away. Clearly, she has plans for this reptile. Who knows, maybe when your parents took you out to the park to drive some squirrels, it wasn't a nice family tradition, but something of like a tribute. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, take these nuts, but don't touch us, please. You find that funny? And these snakes are not laughing. Underestimating a squirrel was the biggest mistake in the life of each of these venomous reptiles. However, after all, it is not invincible. This time, the squirrel underestimated the opponent. She thought she could easily confuse and escape from a feline predator. But they are not for nothing considered one of the most effective hunters. The beast rushes at the prey and catches it without any problems. It seems that these races were just fun. Do you feel sorry for a squirrel? Or are you rooting for a predator? Answer in the comments. When mongooses were brought to America to fight rattlesnakes, it turned out that Asian predators, which fight on a par with cobras, are inferior to American snakes in speed. Well, mongooses just had to learn from mice. More precisely, a kangaroo rat. Believe me, this rodent is really unusual and will be able to surprise you. It's probably a relative of the splinters rat. She quickly dodges the snake's throw not even once, but several times. Just look at the height of her jump. If a person was capable of such feats, he could jump to the third floor of the house without a run and dodge a bullet. A mouse that can fit into the palm of your hand is able to instantly jump above the waist of an adult. Do you think that's all? No matter how, the mouse turned out to be so brave that she not only dodged another snake attack, but even hit her back. Even a karate champion is unlikely to repeat this feat. Get away from the blow and at the same time turn around in the air to hit the snake on the head with both feet. That is, a rodent can change the direction of movement right in the air and turn around for a really strong blow. The reptile is clearly in shock. In the future, it should be more careful to choose rivals. In slow motion, it can be seen that the blow stunned the snake and she did not even have time to close her mouth during the fall. After all, after the victory, the mouse also humiliated the snake when she drew a handful of sand directly into her eyes. In the eternal confrontation of cats and dogs, the advantage is almost always with dogs. They are usually heavier, more massive, and also know how to act as a team. Therefore, it seems that this cat does not have a single chance. Fortunately, at the last moment, he appears to be her superhero. One cat attacks a whole pack of dogs, and thanks to Rage and Claws, manages to literally defeat the enemy. The cat throws away dogs who don't want to feel his claws in their eyes. And when the dogs recovered a little and were ready to counterattack, the enemy had already disappeared with his beloved. A real knight. 
the mother cat is also capable of such feats. These dogs wanted to hurt her baby. Well, they didn't know who they were messing with. First, the cat repelled the attack on the baby and then started chasing three dogs. But do not think that cats and dogs hate each other just because they belong to rival species. This cat witnessed how a strange dog attacked a dog that belongs to his family. This was a big mistake. The aggressor did not know that this cat is a real defender of the house. He crashed into someone else's dog with his whole body and saved his furry friend. An emu is a bird that looks funny, but in fact is on the list of the most dangerous birds on the planet. At first glance, she is not particularly impressive, but her physical form is enough to fight on equal terms with the largest predators. In order to work with emus, wildlife researchers need all metal shields. These birds are so devastatingly able to beat. But the main thing is their honest, pure, and inexhaustible love for fights. This one does not need to be provoked at all. He'll start pestering you himself. For him, any creation that he did not like in some way is a potential target. The emu doesn't even kick this sheep. Out of contempt for her, the bird just pecks at her head. And this emu is literally hunting a dog. Just look at how the bird hovers over its prey. The dog clearly did not understand what was happening. Some feathered monster appears, which looks into his eyes and runs after him with an obvious desire to break his skull. This is far from the only case. Although the emu is taller, the dog is heavier and theoretically stronger. But the bird doesn't care that they are in different weight categories. She wants to show that this dog's place is in the far corner of the kennel. It's better not to get caught in the eyes of an emu. The goose does not have huge claws and a sharp curved beak like an eagle. It doesn't have the impressive dimensions of an ostrich or condor. But every goose is a real warrior at heart. This dog is not trying to harm the goose. On the contrary, he nobly keeps an aggressive bird because the owner's property must be protected. But the feathered one does not understand the good impulse of the dog. It goes on attack. And the goose doesn't care that it's an alibi, a shepherd dog that was bred to protect against wolves. The goose goes on the attack gets a couple of blows, but then gets up and rushes into battle again. It seems that he watched several episodes of Naruto and is now sure that the main thing in battle is not to give up. We don't know exactly what inspired this formidable bird, but although the dog has a clear advantage, the feathered approach is bearing fruit. The huge dog is retreating. He underestimated the stubbornness and unstoppability of an ordinary goose. Okay, but what about someone bigger? This goose is against his family being forced out of his favorite corner on the shore. That's why he's going to attack a whole herd of cows. Even one cow is a couple hundred times heavier and several orders of magnitude stronger than a bird. She could have trampled on him without a problem. And neither wing beats nor goose bites pose a serious threat to these ungulates. But despite these facts, cows cannot displace a goose. It is he who attacks them and drives them away. Amazing, his female just stands there and watches her partner easily scatter huge opponents. And why interfere? She's already sure of him. And you know what? She's right. The goose boldly goes into battle into the hoofed giant retreat. They are trying to counterattack the brazen bird but its pressure is stronger than a stone wall. In vain, they underestimated their opponent. It seems that the whole life of a goose is a futile search for a worthy opponent. Look at this brave bird. She's chasing two tigers. Cats are shocked by the bravery of this feathered terminator. That's when arrogance really saves a life. Each of these striped goons could have dealt with the goose with one blow but the bird spreads its wings and goes on the attack. 
The tigers can only retreat. They are afraid of such pressure because they think that the power of the feathered impudent is much greater than it is. It is not necessary to take an example from a goose, but in a critical situation, self-confidence and fortitude can really save where there is not enough physical strength. With powerful blows of the wings, the bird stuns its enemy, making him tremble. And no one will want to meet with the tenacious beak of the goose. It's funny. It turns out that when the tigers decided to attack the goose, they first underestimated it. And when they began to retreat in panic, they overestimated. Have you ever had similar stories in your life? Share them in the comments. Finally, the goose has found a worthy opponent. You will be shocked, but the only animal that could fight back against this feathered avenger is an elephant. Yes, you got it right. You need to be literally the largest land animal in the modern world to give a decent fight to an ordinary goose. These two opponents are worthy of each other. Just look at these titans fight. The goose goes to it and attack the elephant, but unlike tigers and other large animals, our hero withstands this pressure and counterattacks himself. He puts his trunk into action and then even turns his back to the enemy. It's probably some kind of karate kick. Amazing skill on both sides. Here is a case when both animals underestimated their enemy but neither of them began to retreat. This fight looks funny. A multi-ton elephant is trying to gore a goose, which an adult could lift with one hand without any problems. But we already know what these birds are like in business. The courage of an elephant causes genuine respect, don't you agree? By the way, there is some kind of mutual respect between the rivals. It's like they're at a tournament and want to show off their entire arsenal. Well, or the elephant just wants to finally find a way to drive this crazy bird out of its territory. Crocodiles like to ambush, but this warthog clearly noticed the predator in time. And when the reptile made a dash, the boar easily dodged the bite jumped over the enemy, and ran away. The crocodile is in shock, but at least he remained in the status of a predator. The crocodile clearly considered himself a real monster, which everyone in Africa is afraid of. No, not all of them. Here's the best illustration for the words. Boy, you came to the wrong area. Huge hippos literally pulled the crocodile out of the water and started kicking it like a soccer ball. For them, he is not a predator, but a victim. Do you also not like it when someone steals food right out of your plate? Well, we are against violence, but we must admit that this rhino knows how to protect personal borders. When the boar did not heed the first warning, he received an unusual flight experience instead of a portion of fresh grass. The rhino did not finish him off, he just taught a spectacular and obviously effective lesson when he launched the boar up with one powerful blow. Pelicans are still robbers. Usually they really feed on fish, which they elegantly catch on the fly in their huge beaks, scooping up water. And in this way, a pelican can even catch a shark. But also, the bird will be happy to have a snack, for example, a gaping pigeon. Apparently, close communication with the main coastal gangsters, that is, seagulls, has done its job. Pelicans got bad and started robbing, but this bird was clearly mistaken in the choice of prey. Do you know what this capybara had to do to escape from the feathered aggressor? Absolutely nothing. The pelican approached its imaginary victim several times, but could not do any damage to it. It couldn't even lift it. By the way, if you want to learn more about these charismatic animals with nerves of steel, then write about it in the comments. It seems that the rodent looks at the pelican as if it were garbage. The bird's attacks were nothing more than a light massage for this well-fed and cute animal. 
Now the pelican will be tormented by complexes. His opinion of himself as a formidable predator was simply trampled. Any boxer will confirm that timing is very important in a fight. That is, choosing the right moment to strike. While this turtle is doing great with timing. When a horse shows unhealthy curiosity, the reptile goes on the defensive, and then at the only appropriate moment, strikes. That is, a bite with a sharp beak. Neither a large dog running to the noise, nor the continuation of the horse's attack produces any effect on the turtle. But when she counterattacks, her lightning strike causes panic in the animals dozens of times larger. Just look at the panic this reptile has brought its rivals to. It seems that we have finally found a fighter for whom the difference in size is not an obstacle to worry. I wonder if this turtle could bring an elephant to a heart attack? What do you think? Answer in the comments. Never approach a horse from behind. This can threaten the most unpleasant consequences. Don't you believe it? Then learn from the mistakes of others. The lion has decided to ignore this lesson and received a double blow with her hooves right in the jaw. Instead of lunch, her hunt ended with a knockout. How dramatically she fell. The powerful blow of the zebra just turned off the predatory cat. To be in the jaws of a crocodile for most animals is a terrible end. For this turtle, here she resembles a girl on a bad date. She's just waiting for it to be over, and he'll get the hell out of there, and she can enjoy the dinner she ordered. The crocodile clearly did not impress her. He is not capable of swallowing such a large turtle whole. And although the compression force of his jaws is huge, and the shell easily withstands all his onslaught. It seems that the turtle leaves even with a kind of contempt. What, Jack, is that all you're capable of? I expected more. The crocodile is also in shock. His jaws didn't let him down before, but what was it Stark said? Sometimes it happens. Once out of five, right? In general, it is better not to mess with turtles. They are often underestimated by other animals. But it seems that the myth of their slowness is nothing more than a competent strategic move. They simply lulled the vigilance of potential victims. Like this pigeon, which did not expect a lightning-fast reptile throw. As a result, the turtle caught a bird for lunch. In general, it turns out that the turtle is one of the toughest fighters in the world of wildlife, who are regularly underestimated. This duck was swimming with the chickens when a carnivorous turtle decided to attack one of them. An adult bird immediately stood up for the baby, and this is quite natural. But she made a mistake when she ran into a turtle in a frontal attack. Although the reptile is much smaller, its beak turns out to be so strong that the turtle immediately grabs the opponent and shakes it like a rag. The baby was able to escape, because the turtle switched to his mom. Drowning a duck is a very difficult idea to implement, but the turtle turned out to be a stubborn and cruel one. She shook the bird and did not let it go for so long that the duck ran out of strength. And she could not oppose anything to such a protected opponent. The bird probably survived and was able to reunite with his family, but she will remember this fight forever. Turtles are avid fans of fighting. This reptile is not trying to eat the dog. There is too much difference in size. A turtle doesn't hunt a huge snake. She just sees someone who annoys her and rushes into battle. It seems that these reptiles can sometimes forget even about hunger and throw food in order only to teach the enemy a lesson. They say that a samurai has no goal, only a path. Oddly enough, this is just about a turtle. If you think that her shell is needed in order to calmly wait out the danger, sit out, and then go about your business, then you are mistaken. Apparently, the turtle feels his impunity thanks to the armor. Therefore, he goes to attack cows. 
But for a turtle, these ungulates are like Godzilla for you. And nothing, the reptile does not show a drop of fear. Or maybe she's just an evil creature. But in any case, her fighting fuse is respected. Although the turtle doesn't have long fangs, its beak is as powerful as a war hammer. Even the lion is shocked by the impudence of the turtle, which was the first to attack him. This seems fantastic, but the turtle, furious with its pressure, drove away a huge lion from the water, which is 200 times heavier. Hopefully, after what you've seen, you won't accuse the Beast King of cowardice. Perhaps some of his battle scars are not the claws of other lions, but the teeth of such small monsters. There was no need to underestimate this Wu Gui. Do you remember what happened to Tai Lung? It seems that the creators of that cartoon understand zoology much better than it seems at first glance. By the way, about Kung Fu. Which style is cooler, tiger or crane? If you were on the side of striped cats, then we have a surprise for you. The feathered creature turned out to be a really cool fighter. Clearly, Chinese masters were inspired by such episodes when they created their martial art. At first, the bird tried to retreat because it wanted peace and harmony. But if the opponent does not share these values, he can be punched in the face. Iron logic, which allowed the crane to survive and even feel quite comfortable in the same enclosure with two adult tigers. Flapping blows with huge wings cannot cause serious damage to predators that weigh a quarter of a ton each. But they distract so that the crane can deliver a powerful blow with its beak directly to the head, like a sword. Makakes only seem like cute harmless beggars. These primates will fight fiercer for their food than wolves. Here is a fairly large dog decided that he could take away a tasty morsel with a small makake. He underestimated her greed in the team spirit of the pack. Among themselves, these animals will fight for every piece, but if an external threat appears, they will attack it all together. So the dog had to fight off several macaques at the same time. The dog is well done. He was able to escape from the encirclement of enemies whole and alive. This is already an achievement, but he will not underestimate the enemy so much anymore. The polar bear is the largest land predator of our time among all mammals. On its hind legs, this monster can rise more than 10 feet above the ground, three meters. And some males, according to unconfirmed reports, can reach a mass of about a ton. If the prey has fallen into the clutches of a polar bear, it has almost no chance. Huge pinnipeds, which are capable of destroying cars, panic at the sight of this predator. For him to attack a herd of sea elephants is like going to the supermarket for you. The polar bear is not afraid of the cold. It's the cold that's afraid of the polar bear. But it turns out that loyalty to your master can work real miracles. This dog is big and strong, but for a polar bear, he is like a bicycle to a truck. A larger predator can simply trample such an opponent. But what is it? The dog found the bear's only weak spot and clung there. It turns out that the nose of a predatory giant is a very sensitive place. It is not covered by a th either a thick layer of adipose tissue or fur. Therefore, when the dog clung to it with his fangs, it stopped even such a huge thing. That's when the bear underestimated his enemy and messed with the wrong guy. You can't blame him either. Who would have expected such cool combat data from a dog? This is an extra class fighter. Self-confidence, concentration, and skill are the three pillars on which the successful tactics of any fighter rests. Look at these rodents. It turns out they're like hobbits. Well-fed and pleasant at first glance, but formidable fighters if necessary. Their endurance can only be envied. Look at this epic confrontation with the lynx. 
It seems that in front of you is an ancient warrior with the bearing of a real officer. Pay attention to this aristocrat's posture. It's so cold and contemptuous to look into the face of danger when you are attacked by a whole pack of dogs. That's endurance. But it turns out that this is not the desperate calm of a creature that is ready for its end. It's part of the real battle tactics. The dogs underestimated the enemy. It turned out that the baby spread his paws and puffed out his chest in a, such a way that he reacted with lightning speed to any attempts to throw himself off balance. As soon as the dogs turn from intimidation to active actions and pounce on the baby, the rodent does not give up, but goes on a counterattack. No one expected such fury from him. These dogs clearly underestimated the enemy, who turned out to be a real warrior. Just look at how desperately he fights back. And at the same time, the baby acts prudently and effectively. But as for his size, the dog is like a huge wolf from that movie about Thor, remember? How would you react to the approach of such a monster? This beautiful chase looks incredibly epic. The hare is faster than wolves, but they also have great speed. And they are trying to drive the victim. Wolves are able to act amazingly smoothly. The hare thinks that he has almost escaped from the trap, but falls almost into the mouth of a predator. Only incredible maneuverability allows the hare to slip almost out of the predator's fangs. If the wolves were saved, then what is a lynx? A lone predator capable of. It turns out that the hare underestimated the opponents and paid for it. He didn't know that the pads of lynx paws worked like snowshoes. Thanks to this advantage, the cat managed to catch up with the victim. About 60 years ago, people were a little surprised by a photo in which the artist Salvador Dali was walking a tame anteater. But now we know. It was not a quirk of a creative personality, but a subtle calculation. Because one anteater is worth three Dobermans in battle. Surprisingly, these clumsy at first glance animals are real bullies who are only happy to fight for any reason. If this is the first time you've heard about it. Well, for many other animals, this is also a surprise and a very unpleasant one. It is obvious from the name of the animal that the anteater feeds on ants and termites, that is, insects that live in large colonies and build huge nests. This is what his elongated head with an incredibly long sticky tongue is adapted for. But many people overlook the fact that getting involved with ants is in itself a task for someone with very strong nerves. Have you ever fallen on an anthill and felt dozens of painful bites in the most sensitive places? Well, for an anteater, this is an ordinary Tuesday. But the main thing is that in order to dig underground colonies, these animals have incredibly strong and large clawed paws. Of course, the excavator is a construction equipment. But can you imagine what would happen if an ordinary moped crashed into him? Then you can imagine what will happen to some medium-sized predator if an anteater's paw crashes into it. Here, the dogs do not behave very decisively as they see the anteater for the first time. But even a small individual is able to scare off a large dog with its iron character and strange stance. Do you think the kid was lucky? No, the dog was lucky to retreat in time. Here, everything turned out differently. A jaguar, one of the largest predators on the planet, capable of hunting caimans and anacondas, lay quietly in the thickets. But the anteater doesn't care. He's in the mood to punch someone in the face. The jaguar is coming. The cat clearly underestimated the threat and did not immediately realize that it was best to run and climb a tree somewhere. Therefore, the anteater gets a great chance to come up to a close distance and hit the jaguar several times so that the cat is simply shocked by these cuffs. Finally, the jaguar tries to counterattack. He pounces on the anteater and knocks him to the ground. 
But for this animal, such a blow is like a friendly hug. It seems that this strange animal enjoys such a warm-up. In the end, the jaguar simply has no chance but to run far away. The anteater has a very strong high in jet fur that works like dynamic armor. But his main weapon is a special combat tactic. The anteater can strike single blows with its huge claws if it wants to attack. But he defends himself. He rises on his hind legs. Then the tail of some species can serve as a balancer. In this stable position, the anteater can stand for a very long time. And most importantly, it is able to spin around its axis, so it is almost impossible for at least one enemy to approach it from behind. And from this rack, he delivers a crushing blow with his claws. The anteater's claws are combined into one huge stable blade. The animal strikes in a wide arc, using a swing that enhances the already enormous power of claws accustomed to digging. In the Middle Ages, plate armor began to be made to protect against enemy swords. In a direct blow, more than one blade could not penetrate it. Then the knights began to use powerful war hammers, which on the one hand had a shock part, and on the other, a spike. This thorn opened the enemy's shell like a tin can. So the anteater's blows work about the same way, like a medieval spiked hammer. At the same time, the animal does not strike single blows, but beats fast boxing series. And even that's not all. An anteater can grab an enemy, hook it with its claws, hold it up, and bend it under itself. After that, he will begin to trample and tear it with his claws, while the victim is defenseless under its weight. Perhaps this funny scene is an example of what an error in the evaluation of the opponent means. Some birds are so cool that even the bars for them are not a hindrance. As they say, a truly free person remains so even locked up. That's how this predator is. He was having a quiet lunch when a passing bird decided that he could take away his threat and nothing would happen to her for it. Mistake, the predator blocks the victim's head with the lightning movement. The thief will definitely remember this lesson. Koalas give the impression of cute and lively plush toys with the same gentle character. Well, this individual is clearly not like that. She cruelly throws off a relative from a tree who somehow did not please her. The crying of an offended koala is heartbreaking. Well, let this be a lesson. Do not judge a koala by stereotypes like a book by its cover. In general, it is impossible for stereotypes about animals to make you forget about vigilance. This chicken thought that the giant above her was a good-natured vegetarian, a stereotypical mistake. For some strange reason, this particular horse suddenly wanted to eat chicken, and she started literally vacuuming the ground in search of chickens. The chicken is in shock. He just doesn't know what to do. She is not able to protect the young from this giant, and she will not be able to collect and evacuate the chickens in time because they are too scattered. As a result, the horse has diversified its menu quite well. Which case, when the animals made a mistake in choosing an opponent, struck you the most? Share your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of unusual things that we would love to show you.